I want to go back to the most important uh, concept, gravity. So what is gravity? We said gravity does not exist. Gravity is gravity is the is an effect of electrical discharge. It's the space. It's the draft that happens from electric electricity moving through a system. You get a small gap. That gap, that draft, is what we call gravity, and then it's caught by the next wave. It's caught by the next wave. No, it's okay. You got you got props. Mm -hmm. Easier for audience. I'm, Shh, I'm targeting please. college student or high school student. So so I try to explain. So what gravity is now? Remember one thing: gravity force is different than all other three fundamental forces based on the quantum theory, right? Standard model of physics. Say gravity is a unilateral uh, attraction only force. Does not have a repulsion, right? So we said, oh, anti gravity is not possible. That's all wrong, okay? So, so what is gravity? Based on the current definition, gravity is a unilateral attraction force. You know one thing. So gravity is not a fundamental force. Do you agree? Grab your mic. Oh, so gravity is not a fundamental force. Just based on that one. No. All fundamental it's forces a more, it's an emergent, have binary. It's, a mer it's an emergent force. I like the term. It's an emergent property of a mass system. So emerging from what? We are talking about force. You have to emerge resonance. from a force. It's resonance. Resonance is still the vibration mode. It's still not force yet. I know you, you, you're almost there, OK? Sometimes people say electromagnetic force. I would say simplify to magnetic, magnetic force. But S that, again, is motion. All of these things happen as a result of their motion. Motion requires force. Because of existence, so, so there's a natural bone of a magnetism in every single matter particles. And that one causes interaction means it whether combine them or repel them, right? Interaction. So, so what I try to say is uh, the Let's reframe this so called gravity is not a fundamental force. That's the number one. Gravity is an emergent property of a particle system of magnetic force. So we can say elect, uh, gravity is a second effect of electromagnetic body. Um, which, like I said, you it's an effect of electricity. Another way to say it, I wanted to repeat a different way, <laughs> called residual. Force draft. of a of a uh, magnetic body, magnetic uh, and the the magnetic systems are trying to do one thing: rotate around each other. They're not trying to bump and stay like this. They come and they begin to rotate. Everything is about orbiting another system, and it ultimately it will leave that orbit. But it's just a moment of orbiting. Yes. Now I wanted to demonstrate one uh, one uh, counter one counter argument to say. Hey, you said gravity is not a fundamental force, but gravity, the, the strength of gravity is dramatically different than electric force, magnetic force, or electromagnetic force, or strong nuclear force, or nuclear force. How you square about that one? That's what I'm trying to demonstrate. So I have a, a line of uh, square magnets, yep. right? So if I put this one here, you would expect it to attract them, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a magnetic, magnetic force. Nothing important until I folding them. Tell me how many well, of I the balls. Repulsive now, or how many balls I can attract them? Probably all of them. He he think about it uh, because of center of gravity is lower, right? Magnet is lower, so we should. Uh, attract all of them instead of two of them. Your take? Um, well, to multiply electrical potential, like with wires, you wrap them around each other. Yep. So by wrapping those more on top of each other, we're multiplying its potential. So the electrical potential to pull things up or to attract should be greater now. Greater now. You both agree. Until. Why? That 
physics gives the concept of gravity, the difference between gravity and the magnetic force. Magnetic force, when you fold it, what happens? Positive and negative. It's a vector, vector right? Positive and negative vector cancel each other. So it becomes a neutral now. So that's why you cannot pick up. With a magnet. But when talking about gravity, gravity, we're, we're, we're in speaking about how gravity right. behaves. Gravity is a summation of this mass system. So if I fall for more, when you fold it even more, the force is even less. Even less. It's, so it's that's why containing itself, but you can make gravity, gravity the magnitude. Disappear. It is a basic disappear. It's a factor. Gravity is smaller than uh, electromagnetic force, including uh, uh, by a factor of a ten. Uh, no, a ten to the thirty-six power. So basically, if you have a one charge of uh, electro force, right? You know, gravity is one as uh, a zero point. You add thirty-six zeros, and then add one. So that's the gravity. So basically, gravity is zero. That's why gravity never occurred in quantum mechanics. It cannot occur in quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is dealing with electromagnetic interaction. Gravity is zero, 30, with 36 zeros behind it, so it's zero. That's why I was saying gravity in the Planck model, when they use it in, um, when, in describing Planck or the speed of light, it disqualifies Planck from being a constant because gravity isn't a constant. Depending on where you are on the Earth, the gravity is different. If you place something at the equator in comparison to something at the pole, it weighs more. Is gravity the same as weight? You put something at 100,000 feet up in the air, it's going to weigh different than it does on the land. So it's, gravity is now a conditional fact that changes depending on where something is. Or like, like I said, if you take a balloon and you rub it on your leg, and you put it on the ground. Now here the earth is attracting through gravity, mm. so-called, all of the uh, attracting everything to it. But you put that balloon with the static electricity over the ground, and the same dust, the particles that the earth is pulling to it, now this balloon, being so much smaller, is able to pull those particles up to it. Why? Because electricity is greater than gravity, almost 137 times stronger than the gravitational pull is the electrical pull. And that's why I say elect gravity is an effect of electricity, not the attractive thing. Hi, everyone. My name is Terrence Howard. I'm an actor, um, but in the field of science also. So if you would like to connect with me, you can connect with me on Minect. Um, the QR code is down below, and let's have a great conversation. If you enjoy this video, you want to watch more videos like this, click here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click here.